Uh, all week long, we'll be featuring the Berkeley County Youth Fair through the eyes, ears, and observations of Mary Beth Blair. Good morning, MB. Good morning. Good also, morning, by the morning. way, uh, there's a special legislative session that's underway. I'm sure you've heard by now. Mike Hornby, as in Delegate Hornby and owner of this place, will be calling us at 845 this morning to give us the latest updates on that. Oh. The Youth Fair will be continuing all week long and into the weekend as well. And we hope for great weather as the week continues because it's been dry all summer. So, of course, it'll rain at the Youth Fair. Of course, yeah. No, actually, it did rain just a little bit yesterday. Yeah. We it, it delayed one of the events in the live arena that one of the, the uh, Berkeley County Youth Fair uh, BCYF truck and tractor pull, but it still went on at seven o'clock and they got through it. I don't know, 11 ish. Yeah. Uh, but it, the, actually the rain cooled things off, didn't it? It Hunter? made it a lot better down there, honestly. <laughs> it was pro it was very hot. It was the hottest yeah. of the three days so far that I've been down there. And so after the rain came and left, it felt so nice. I'm sure. Yeah. Along that note, Mary Beth, yes. uh, this afternoon, we may yes. have some severe weather. Correct. What preparation do you do? Well, that? I know that when speaking with Don Pingley with who's yeah. the president, of the association they are watching that they work with the homeland security office i think is mm. what she had explained to me i'm trying to think of the name name of the gentleman that the, is working directly with them providing them alerts mm. and mm. uh weather um information so that we pr make sure that we keep everyone safe and i know that as soon as we know something if anything looks close and we need to take shelter we will be you know I'm sure they have a plan. I don't have access yeah, to that sure, plan, sure. but they have it. And we will notify the public of any changes through our app notification, through our social media. And I know that they have loudspeakers, of course, down at the fair. Yes. And Hunter may be able to speak. This is Hunter Dunham, by the way. Mm -hmm. And she's an exhibitor, and she wears lots of hats down there. We'll talk about those here in a few minutes. But what did, what have they told the exhibitors? Like, do you, and I'm sure in, in general, when there's there are always weather challenges. Mm -hmm. So what do they tell you to just stay tuned to announcements down there? Or how does that work? Honestly, every year that I've been down there, the weather on it like, hasn't very been very bad. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they told me that the indoor arena, I think, is the tornado shelter. Okay. But I don't know. I think we just go in barns if it's storming bad, okay. just so that way we're underneath of something. We're not out like in the right. rain and stuff getting right. all wet. Let's give Hunter her proper introduction, Let's Mary Beth. It. So this is Hunter, and I have had the pleasure of interviewing her this week. She's amazing. Uh, she placed second runner-up in the Miss Berkeley yes. County Youth Fair Friday night, but also she won the coveted award, the Evelyn Talbot Community Service Award. She can tell us a little bit about that. But she, And in addition to that, she was the winner of the Berkeley County Youth Fair Scholarship uh, this year. She competed against at least, I'd say, how many were there? Ten? Oh. There others? was four people on stage. On stage, but then there were others but who had were, applied. Yes, there was other applications, but it was only the top four that got to right. go. Right, and, and you, she actually got to present her, like, maybe a few minutes of why you, um, the impact of the fair on you and and growing, how you've grown in the fair. Is that It was, how was the Berkeley County Youth Fair prepared you for life? And so, so, yeah, so she won that, and so we wanted to bring her on to tell a little bit about, just, just to... Uh, showcase her and if you will because this is the quality of young people that we see every day at the fair hunter is such a great example of what the berkeley county youth fair plays a role in the lives of so many young people and so tell us a little bit about your community service and how you feel you were able to achieve that award honestly i was not expecting to get that award at all um i have been very involved in my church for as long as I can remember, my parents always preached to me to give back to others uh -huh. and to like serve them without expecting anything in return. So that's always been something that's very important to me. And I love giving people the opportunity to be able to serve their community as well. So leading groups in like the kids power pack that I did at um, Tri-County Camp, we packed over 400 bags for kids power pack, which is a program that gives students food on holidays, breaks, weekends, things like that. And then I also went to Guatemala on a missions trip last summer, and I was so fortunate to get to go and experience that. We got to paint at a school and a church, and we did Bible lessons and different things like that. It was just really amazing. That's awesome. Now tell us about the scholarship and how you're going to use that. Yes. So the scholarship is actually really, really 
really beneficial for me because I am going to college for at least five years, okay. but maybe four if I can work something out because I have to get my master's as well for extension. And tell so. us a, a little bit about what you're studying. It's so cool. Okay. So I'm studying agriculture and extension education at Potomac State, and I'll be there for a year and a half. But with that degree, I can either become a vocational agriculture teacher and teach at like a high school or middle school, or I can be a 4-H extension agent and be like Mikey Withrow. So nice. <laughs> it's really cool. Be to like get to Mike. Do that. Be like Mikey. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And he, we t laughed about it the other day. He said, "She's coming for my job. I'll be ready." <laughs> Does he have room on his staff, Hunter? Can they create a position for you, or do you have to go elsewhere? Well, so they only have one per county, and so I would. I'm going to do the summer internship one year, and I'm going to student teach. I don't exactly know what I want to do yet mm -hmm. uh, between the two, and I'm going to try both. Whichever one I like more, um, I'm going to try and get a position in. But I can always go to Maryland for a little bit until Mikey's done, <laughs> and then I'm going to take a job. <laughs> wait him out, Hunter. Uh, Just yes. wait him out. Yes. An another great thing is Hunter has coming up is, is uh, she's an exhibitor, and she's in the swine show, which is Tuesday. Yes. One of the longest shows because there's so many, the ones, yes. so many exhibitors. Yeah. I le I've learned that that's one of the easiest maybe animals to start with and yes. if you become an exhibitor of livestock that a lot of people choose that first mm -hmm. tell us a little bit how long you've been showing swine and why you like that species I've been showing swine since I was 11 years old so seven years but we started raising swine I want to say when I was like five or six okay. so I've grown up around them for pretty much my whole <laughs> life but um Pigs are so interesting because they're very smart, but you don't expect it. <laughs> so they know like when you need to feed. They're on a very like scheduled like time frame and they will get mad if you do <laughs> not feed them. They get sassy. It's very funny. So their personality is kind of what I like about pigs because uh -huh. you never know what you're going to get. And sometimes it's just really funny to now, see. Now, the, the swine that you show, are yes. they in the marketing program or are they breeding side? I only do market. So when yes. you when you show, you know you're going to be selling your, yes. your pigs. Does that bother you at all? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know She's a, a businesswoman. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people get upset, yeah. but I've never really been that yeah. kid. Yeah. Even when I was young, I was like, bye-bye. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Albert. Uh, it's yeah. been fun. Yes. <laughs> now, when you go to show a pig, do you have to wash it and brush it and yes. get it all shiny and, and mm -hmm. such, and then it rains down on it? And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they go in their pen and they poop and it makes a mess. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> and roll in it. And, uh, right. and, and having a good breakfast, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed, I walked through the swine uh, yes. pavilion the other day, I noticed a lot of Hampshire pigs, and that yes. surprised me. I thought they were kind of a breed that had been around, and then you did not see very many of them. But half the pigs I saw yesterday, or the other day, were, yes. were Hampshire. So a lot of people show Hampshire because it's the belt on them yeah, uh -huh. accentuates like different aspects of the hog, so it makes it better in the ring for market placing. And things like that okay. so they can win they're able to win higher like I see. awards and stuff the build of hampshire is really that was a on. question before we started today the guys were asking what are some of the you know top criteria for uh the judge L what is he looking for he or she looking for in the ring so a lot of judges look for good I'm not like an expert in livestock yeah. judging at all or anything I'm not like Peyton and Amelia they know <laughs> everything about it but um they Look mostly, I feel like, for a tall, like, the head up and then, like, round in the back a lot of times. But some judges, it just really depends on the judge. What they like in market animals might be totally different than another judge. Okay. So sometimes it's hard to gauge what an, what a judge is really going to be looking for until you're there that day. Right. So, because we don't know who the judges are until like the day of so the the result of the judging do they go through and there's there's a numerical score that is given for for pig mm -hmm. number one so by the time he gets to pig number 124 he doesn't have to remember what pig number one looked like <laughs> so you have different classes with them so the first class might be like lightweight and they'll look at all the pigs from 225 to 230 and he'll place the pigs in that class and then he'll go back and he'll put the pig 
he'll take the, the top two or three and he'll bring them back later, but all the other pigs go away. And then he'll bring in another class of light weight and he'll judge them and then he'll bring back two or three and then he'll send the other ones away. See, there was three classes, so he does that three times. Nine pigs come back in the ring and he judges them and picks a lightweight grand and reserve champion. And then he'll go on to medium weight. And then the grand and reserve from lightweight, medium, and heavyweight will all go in a ring, and that'll be your overall grand champion market hog. Okay. Just one judge, or do you have a combination of judges? It's one, one judge. One judge. Yes. And is weight analogous to age? The uh, <laughs> no, it's not no, at okay. all. Because you could have a pig born at the end of February, and it weigh more than a pig born at the beginning of January, because they have to be born after January 1st. So, yeah. It just depends on feeding, finishing, things like that. What kind of things do you feed a pig if you want it to eventually show well? I We use uh, Ernst Grain Livestock. They are like a non-GMO, non-soy. It's really good for them. But we add in um, different things from Purina and different like supplements and things is like that. Is it meat-based, basically? Uh, ours is grain-based. Grain-based. Yes. Okay, very good. We're talking to Mary Beth Blair and Hunter Dunham. From the Berkeley County Youth Fair each morning at this time we will feature the Berkeley County Youth Fair and the youth that make up the youth fair as yes. uh, we all know by now this is the only youth youth fair strictly for the youth mm -hmm. in uh, if I remember uh, correctly in the entire country there's some debate about one other one from what I understand Correct. but this is the most the only dedicated one to youth right uh, Mary Beth what's coming up on the schedule today by the way well, today, right now, as we speak, um, the guys from TV10 are down uh, filming the goat show. And they will, we will, after your show today, they'll join in progress and you'll catch the end of that. I'm sure they'll do a full replay at some other point. So the goat show is, I believe, when I talked to Beth last night, who's the chairperson, said it's a fairly large show. That, so they'll go well into the afternoon with that. Uh, later in the day, when, we're, when we go live, there's the old timers showmanship. Uh, contest. Also in the live arena is a professional truck pulling group called East Coast Pulling and they are pretty much make a, an appearance every year at the fair. They're very very popular so hopefully the rain will and the storms will go around or you know just dissipate so that we can enjoy that and that can still go on. Of course the carnival is open every day at four o'clock. The commercial actually it's six o'clock on the weeknights we just came off the weekend I'm on weekend time still which was four and the commercial vendors there are a slew of vendors out there food commercial vendors lots of stuff to do can you recap from the weekend before you I can I can do you if you have time yes. so we did crown or I shouldn't say we they crowned the Berkeley County Youth Fair crowned a new queen Miss um, Amelia Dugan who is the sister of Peyton Dugan who just uh, gave up her title so it was back-to-back -back sisters we were saying that that might have been either the first time or maybe only one other time for back-to-back -back sisters I believe it was the first, the first time. time. First, so that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, as we said, Amelia will be tuning in. We, um, the market, uh, as we said, yesterday was this sheep show. And the overall uh, grand champion market lamb was Addison Hot and reserve champion was Paige Knott. Uh, there, were, there are lots of categories, so I won't necessarily go through the entire group. I will say in showmanship, uh, the overall grand champion sheep showman was Reagan Barrett, who I mentioned to you guys beforehand, and you just mentioned as well. She's on that livestock judging team that's doing so well. We had the cat show and the small pet show on Saturday. Those are so fun. Did you come? Were you there for that? Yes, I was there for the dog show. Okay. I wasn't there for the cat and the show. dog show as well. You're right. And um, oh gosh, I was trying to look there. I thought I have to look in at the break. I'll look for the dog because it's not listed here. But the cat winner was Haley Marks, who's aging out this yes. year. I might try to get her on uh in the pet show oh my gosh it was awful for me <laughs> michael hovatter brought his ball python <laughs> no words just no words. yes slithering ball. all over his neck hey, and the judges the judge held it then mikey held it they yeah. brought it over to me i'm like okay i draw my line there's a <laughs> there's a clause in my contract i do not hold that was snakes. right after the spider competition <laughs> yeah. right you, you, <sighs> you mentioned a bald python no right? ball that it's b-a-l-l -L. that's the, the that's oh, the type okay. apparently that's what was, mikey sent me i thought it was a bald headed python <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> they all yeah, as opposed I to the hairy ones were, yeah <laughs> no 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 and then also uh, and python with a uh, mullet that's that's the next evolution 
Yeah. yeah, and also, uh, I remember the little girl, the, I shouldn't say little, but the young girl who was the, um, I, that's not the dog show, you'll have to help me, um, because she was, she, uh, well, she Abigail, was Abigail, yes. was it Abigail Folk? Yes. She is she adorable, was and just uh, probably one of the youngest uh, exhibitors in the dog show, yes. and had a precious dog, and she was so well behaved and trained, so mm -hmm. she was the big winner there, and then of course last evening we had the 4-H style review, and I wanted to give a shout out to the top winner of that that's the wrong uh paper but it's her apparently uh colin said that she gets lots of airtime on tv 10 because she's a volleyball player her name is ava mccoy and doesn't her dad work here ava, oh yeah phil so phil, phil's ava, gonna be calling in about 10 minutes yes that's right so ava was grand champion of ada the, isn't oh it? Is, is, it, is it a typo it should be ava no it's mccoy. ada here it's ava here okay i wrote wrong Ada, yes, you're right. First premium and grand champion of the 4-H style review, which means, oh my goodness, these girls and guys who are in that, they sew outfits that could be in on a department store floor. I mean, it's amazing what they create and what they sew. Uh, they're very talented. So, so it's so, a fashion show, essentially? Uh, yes, yes. They, it's, they're sewing projects that okay. they sew and then model uh, and are judged upon. But they're judged very critically judged by seamstresses who judge everything about their stitching and their buttons and their uh, fabric choices. It's very detailed, again, um, and very competitive. Good job, Financial Phil and Ada. Yeah. yeah very nice. There we go. All right, uh, Hunter, what's next for you? Today or? Today. Today, I will be going down to the fair right after this. Mm -hmm. I didn't go down this morning. I just waited until after. <laughs> um, but I might end up helping with the goat show or the rabbit show because that's also today at 9. Mm -hmm. So That's right. I forgot yes. about that one. And the thing, too, with I love this about the Miss uh, Berkeley County Youth Fair um, contest and how it works. They have a winner, of course, um, the queen, but all of the runners up help. That That's a huge job, fair week, because usually the person who wins is an exhibitor. So she has other duties, not only to her animals and to, to showing, but she has to be in multiple places to sh the, one of the things that she does is she helps with the, you know, giving them their ribbons and their awards. So Hunter, has, you've already done that. I saw you were in the dog show yes. photos. Um, she was helping with those awards. And so they, t they basically share the responsibilities that week of helping to um, present all the winners and be at all the events. So she has those official duties as well. So, so the queen and the court are all have mm -hmm. uh, heavy or strong affiliation with the fair. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, Hunter, the, you're from Hedgesville. Yes. The Dunham name is well known in Hedgesville. I have to know. <laughs> yes. But but when you see when you meet Dunhams, they'll go, oh, no, I'm not related to that one. <laughs> Even though they're all in Hedgesville. I don't get that. So uh, what, what Dunhams are you related to? Um, I'm out of the Ashton and Dunham group, I guess. We're... My grandfather's Janie Dunham, mm -hmm. so I don't. He owns the sawmill in the valley. Okay, who's your who's your mom and dad? My mom is Heather Dunham, and my dad is Adam Dunham. Okay, very good. Yes. Did, did your dad play football at Hedgesville? Yes, he did. <laughs> Offensive line. I I'm pretty sure yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You think he played for Ron Renner, if I remember, in the nineties? <laughs> yes, I believe so. Yeah, is Nathan an uncle? Or are you related to Nathan? Nathan is my, one of my cousins. Cousin. He's my okay. dad's first cousin. All right. Well, Nathan was a heck of a football player. Yes, he was. He was a linebacker the year they yes. made it to the title game, and he was a very good football player. They actually just moved back to this area. Oh, where were they? They lived in Montana for a while. Oh, nice. What was he doing there? Cowboying? <laughs> I guess so. I never really got out to visit them. So. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And the uh, previous county commissioner, Wayne Dunham, is your great uncle, I understand. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes. What you're you're in, and this is who to you? Wayne's what to you? My great uncle. Okay, so here's a Wayne Dunham story for you. Okay, and this is <laughs> this is this is told to me by Gilbert Miller. All right, Gilbert was he, they named the gym after Gilbert at yeah. Hedgesville High School, and, and Gilbert Wayne was a former county commissioner, yeah. commission president at one point. Wasn't he, he was. He yeah. was. So so Gilbert's telling me this story about how they're they're playing a team that was a little bit difficult, and there was a player in there who yeah. they wanted to get under their skin, and so Gilbert went to to Wayne and he said, Wayne. See that boy right there? I want you to give him a hard time when you're out there. So that was all the instruction basically Gilbert gave to Wayne. Wayne went out there, 
And when the whistle blew and they started the game, Wayne turned around and decked the kid. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and so, wow. so they eject, obviously they ejected Wayne, and Gilbert said, boy, what are you doing? He said, I, you told me to give him a hard time. I didn't tell you to punch him. <laughs> and the ones of us that know Wayne know he's one of the most gentle, <laughs> one of the most kind people imaginable. I cannot imagine him doing that. Yeah, I, I had Wayne on the show. This was back 30 years ago, and I said, Wayne, Gilbert told me a story about you and a player, and Wayne just started like, well, I, I just didn't understand Give them. <laughs> He told me not. it was heck. Must ask Wayne about that sometime. Right? I will. It's a good laugh. Wayne's a great guy. He so really very is. nice. He really is. Well, Mary Beth, we got uh, all week long. We'll be featuring yeah. the young people at the uh, Berkeley County Youth Fair, and this young lady beside you soon will be going off to college. Where, you, where are you yes. going? I'm going to Potomac State College. You mentioned that, and then after that, do you have to go to a, a four year? I will go to Morgantown after a year and a half. Okay. I already have a semester done from credits in high school. That's great, because that'll help so much. And the scholarship that you got, will that cover much of your education? Yeah, so it will help with next year, because this year I actually got enough scholarships to fully cover it. Mm -hmm. So all of the money from the scholarship from the fair will roll over into next year. Very nice. How long have you been showing animals? At um, I've been showing for seven years. I always started with swine, so... I've shown a rabbit, and my first year I did show a rabbit, and then my fifth year I showed a feeder calf as well. Okay, which animal has listened best to you? Listened best? Which which, uh, which species? Follow Probably your instructions. Probably hogs. It, hogs. Hogs are really easy, so it's not hard to get them to listen. Does a rabbit listen to anything you have to say? <laughs> I'm, oh, I guess I guess a rabbit does listen the best, but. The I, easiest to show is a hog. I have uh, vegetable and flower gardens around our house. <laughs> they don't listen And at I all. tell the rabbits every <laughs> single day to stay out, and they don't. <laughs> they don't yeah. What about chickens? Are chick chickens shown at all? I have never shown chickens, mm. but they say it's like kind of a complicated thing. I would think so. Yeah. And they do have that, that species okay. there. Yes. Yeah. Mm. The poultry um, mm. category at the mm. fair. So I'm not sure which day that's being judged. We'll have to look I'm at that sure and either. see. Um, tell us just between, after you, um, your goal, obviously when you go in the ring, or which which category are you? did you weigh in at? I weighed in at 261, so I'll be in medium weight. Medium weight, okay. Yes. And then after the, after we, the results of now we're of the talking show. about the the hog yes <laughs> of course we are <laughs> but when you get our age mary beth we need clarification oh don't, hey don't don't bring us down <laughs> this hole with you what's this we stuff yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh oh that one, Captain. there's the door mr subway <laughs> bad idea captain bad, bad idea, idea captain. <laughs> like we're talking about your hog and we're talking about showing so once you finish the the showing him and get through that portion then what are you going to do getting ready for Friday night's auction because that's a very important part of it and yes. what does that mean to you what do you how how much of that that you collect in the in the livestock auction goes towards I guess reimbursing you there's a huge investment that a lot of people don't understand that goes into what you do to prepare your hog yes so I'm fortunate enough my parents let me and my brother we just have to do all the work but okay. they don't pay for things okay so we get to keep all of the money that we make to save for school and things like that and like car if we need to buy a car if we need right. like it's just kind of an emergency fund uh -huh. that we have with all of our fair money in it right so but tell us what a day like for per, when you care for a hog what is your day like what are you time are you getting up how often are you feeding what time are you going to bed at night it's not too extensive with hogs uh -huh. honestly oh, good. so we usually get up at like 7 30 mm -hmm. and we go out and feed and then uh, we water them, everything like that. We'll mm -hmm. clean out their pens. And then in the evenings, around 5 or 6, we'll go back and we'll feed them again. And we'll just make sure that they have, like, clean bedding. And we'll if there's stuff in their trough, we'll clean it mm -hmm. out. It's not really too crazy. So you said that they're pretty uh, sassy. What, like, will you be in the house and you can hear them, like, letting yes. you know? Like, <laughs> they'll be squealing really yes. loud, like, hello, <laughs> feed yeah. me. They'll squeal or they'll, like, you can hear them, like, wrestling around a lot. And they're, like, running in circles and stuff. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> hey, hey, do they have names? Have you named them? Um, mine is named Honey Bell and my brother's is named Porky. <laughs> so so, so like you, you'll say bye, Honey Bell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Hunter Dunham, great to meet you. Congratulations. Congratulations you. and all your success and best of luck to you. Thank you. It was great being on here. Wonderful having you. Mary Beth, always a pleasure. See you tomorrow morning. Until tomorrow. That's right. 8.31.